Hello friends, you are watching Arudire Plus, the professional CAD CAM solution provider. This channel provides basics of finite element analysis and computer-aided mechanical engineering design and analysis using CAD-related software. Let's get started. Hello friends, today I'll show assembly of a bicycle using SOLIDWORKS. All the parts have already been modeled using SOLIDWORKS. Today we'll show only the assembly part. Okay, then let's get started. Starting from assembly. Okay, parts have already been modeled, so we have to drag it down or we have to browse of different parts. We can take the first of all, we can take the frame. This is the frame. This one will be fixed. Next part we can take the handle. Insert component. Handle. We have taken the handle here, right? Okay. This to be assembled here right now. So what can you do is this part should be going inside this one. So it should be made definitely first. This cylindrical portion will be going inside this part. Okay. It is concentric. Green check. Now it is free to rotate inside this one. That to be fixed, right? How can it be? We have to select this portion should be matching with this portion. So make it bigger a little bit for proper selection. Select this portion should be mating with this portion. So make it little bigger for better selection. This flat surface is concentric done. So this is assembled right this one can rotate freely the first handle is assembled right okay next part we have to make that front wheel this is green check done again insert component we have to select the front wheel open front wheel it has come here met let the parts be bigger for better selection. We have to select this cylindrical portion should be meeting with the central axis of this wheel, right? You can select any cylindrical portion. It should be concentric. Those two will be in the same axis, right? It can move, but this will be the same axis. Next one, you have to go to advanced mats with let's make the size bigger for better selection. this one and that one in between this one will be inserted so again make it bigger a little bit this one and the outer face of this one let make it bigger done so is assembled inside. Green check. We can see it is perfect from the front side. If you make it big, you can see perfectly. It's done perfectly, right? Okay. 
now in between this one one pin should be inserted right that should be inserted again so grid check this part is done already next one we have to take the pin insert component we take the pin okay actually we need to have two numbers of pins at the front side one and the back side also one so we will have to make a copy of this one right we'll copy by control this one a copy has already been made now this one we have to insert inside this one right so omit this one the size be bigger little bit inside this one it will go green check it is gone already but it is not perfect we can make it little bit outside also that is not an issue now to fix it advancement from advancement can select the width this edge and the other edge it's done perfect now you can see from this side The pin is inserted here itself. From both sides, you can check it is perfect. Now the back will to be inserted here, again. right? Green check. Insert components. Will open. We have to rotate this one because this pocket assembly should be at the back side so we'll rotate this one move component rotate component done now omit this one should be aligned with this Hole. so we'll make it a little bit bigger it is concentric done now advanced met width select this one and this one and it should be aligned with the this edge and the opposite edge is done you can see here itself from the back side you can see it is done perfectly All right now the pin should be inserted here itself okay this assembly is okay green check now again met this is green check now again met this pin should be inserted here itself so concentric green check 
can make it a little bit outside then we can apply adverse mat with done green check so it is perfect you can see from both sides the pin is inserted right done next one we have to insert another part that means we can say that seat right insert component Sit. It has come here. Now mat. Select this part that should be inserted inside this hole. Concentric green check. Next one. The distance between them should be set this one should be having some specific distance from this edge let's say the distance equal to 90 millimeter green check Seat is already arranged. Now the thing is, seat can rotate. We have to fix the rotation of this one, right? This is green check. Now we have to fix the rotation of the seat to be fixed. Our front plane of this one should be meeting with front plane of the whole assembly or any other part. Let's select the front plane of the complete assembly. By control, we can select both of them together. Mate. Green check. So this is fixed. Green check. You can see this will not rotate. Done. Next one we have to insert that here is this one that is sprocket and pedal assembly. So insert component sprocket pedal link met this cylindrical portion should be going inside this hole this concentric green check next one this face should be meeting with that opposite face green check done you can see this one will be rotating right even we can see others also wheels all the wheels are also rotating right this one also will be rotating again this wheel also can rotate okay okay fine Next one, here at this assembly we have to insert that pedal, right? This is green check. Now insert component, we have to insert the pedal component. This is here. We can rotate this pedal.
Okay, right. Okay. Next one, mit. Met this cylindrical portion should be met with this hole. It's concentric. Next one, this surface should be meeting with this slotted end. Is concentric grain check. It is done. It can rotate also, right? Okay, fine. Another pedal is required, so we can do it by control and drag. Can rotate this pedal again okay fine so mid Starting with mid, this cylindrical portion will go inside this circular portion. Green check done. We can slide it little bit, we can make it yes, we can move a little bit. Sliding is possible. Next one we have to align this edge with the front edge of this one concentric done this is perfect right let's see it is rotating nicely right one thing is remaining here again that's chain normal chain assembly is to be fixed over this end right so this part is done green check insert component we select the chain open it has come here now the things chain should be inserted at the back side only right so better to take it here you can drag it a little bit this side okay It should be rotated so move component rotate component okay first of all the axis of this one the path of this one should be aligned with the path of this one right so we have to select the path of this one how can you select it select this one this is the chain 
so we can see the history of the chain from the history you can see the drawing also you can see the drawing curve is there right this curve we have to select now starting with mid select this curve should be aligned with the curve of this one it is done concentric now the distance from here to here we have to make it zero or concentric so select these edges and the edge of this one should be concentric concentric then check next one we have to apply advancement this one we can move it little bit down also apply advancements with this curve select this curve this part is going to check now we are selecting width of this one and pass met width and here also this width should be made with Width of this one and is moving by the same time you can see whether this moving or not this is fixed we can make this line hidden okay so our assembly is perfect right This is the complete assembly of the bicycle. If you like this video, please subscribe and share. And if you have any kind of doubts, please add to me. Thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you again. Bye.